it is Kedma, your fellow small business superhero. Today I'm going to talk about how do you deal with an angry customer, or certainly how do you deal with an angry superhero. So I'm going to talk about four steps, but I want to tell you about a real experience that just happened. I was just in a situation where I had to contact, as a customer, QuickBooks, because I do QuickBooks online, and a lot of our clients deal with QuickBooks online, and usually we never have an issue. Usually I can call up and there's someone there to support us, but this time when I called with a question, the other person clearly did not know what they were doing. I could tell because I do QuickBooks all the time, and so every time I would ask a question, they'd say, hold on, and then they'd go, hold on. And then they'd go, hold on. Well, after the third time, I said, look, no disrespect, but I am straight to the point. If you cannot answer my question, please put me through to someone who can. Well, they refused to do it. They're like, no, I can figure it out. 54 minutes and 55 seconds later, they couldn't figure it out. In fact, I told them I wanted to talk to a supervisor and they finally said, well, there's nothing we can do because we can't find the transaction you're looking for. So obviously it didn't come through our system and a supervisor won't help you. I said, listen, this is not up for negotiation. I asked to speak to a supervisor and I have a right to that as a customer. So, they, so finally they referred me to the supervisor and during that time, I solved the problem. I figured out what the issue was. So when I went back to the supervisor, I said, this is unacceptable. This is not what I consider customer service. I can't be in a situation where someone knows less than me. And then when I asked them to escalate it, they wouldn't do it. So here's the takeaway. Number one, if you are talking to an angry customer or a superhero, do not get defensive. Do not say, well, you know, um, like in, in this case, the supervisor said, well, you should have given him a chance. I said, given him a chance? I gave him 54 minutes of my time. If you go back to the coaching and video recording, you will see how much of a chance I gave him. I finally said, enough is enough. So, so don't get defensive. Number two, actively listen. Listen to what the issue is with your customer because your customer is the one that they want to have a relationship with you. And that's what I said. I want to have a relationship with QuickBooks. I've had a relationship with QuickBooks, but this is not working for me. So actively listen. Number three, identify with the customer. Put yourself in their shoes. Realize, oh my gosh, we've got a business owner or we have someone running a business and they're a small business. That means time is money. If you could solve the problem in five minutes and it took you 54 minutes, this is a problem. So relate to them. And lastly, solve the problem. Just solve it. So how the supervisor solved it and says, you know what? I'm hearing you now. Because I said, do you hear me now? Am I making myself clear? He says, no, I hear you loud and clear and I'm going to go back and we're going to review the entire session and then we're going to coach this person on it. I said, that's all I want. Just coach them because I don't want someone else to go through what I had to go through. So that's how I would deal with an angry customer. Okay guys, talk to you later. Bye bye.